What's going on, everybody? It's your ass is mine. Back on Modern Warfare 3. This is the first time I have played this game in over a year. In fact, I had actually sold my disc and bought it again in combination with MW2, which I'm ashamed to say I never played. And I jumped back on this. I jumped on MW2 for a little while playing with Azazel. Got, <laughs> he laughed at me. He's like, dude, you're flat level one. Like, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> but, so here I am. MW3, getting my ass handed to me. Remembering all the bad things. The terrible fucking spawn system. Thanks, Infinity Ward. So, what I want to talk about a lot of people have been sharing what they want to see in the new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And we're all just speculating. I mean, this is, we're speculating this as much as we are anything. Well, I'm going to speculate, but I'm not going to give you a wish list of what I want to see. I'm going to tell you what I think we are going to see. And I, what I think we are really and honestly going to see is a game that is better than Ghost. Because is it really possible to make a game worse than Ghost? But we're also going to see a game that is not as good as MW3. And here's my reason for this. Okay, so Sledgehammer played a part in the MW3. We don't know what they played a part in, but we know they played a part in it. Were they the reason for the bad spawns? I don't think so. I'm going to blame Infinity War because Ghost has that same problem. Were they the reason for lag? No, because all Call of Duties have lag, so expect the next one to have lag. Expect the next one to have bad spawns. Hell, even Black Ops had bad spawns. Can we expect good kill streaks? I think so. Uh, Modern Warfare had pretty good kill streaks. Are they going to reward the dominant players? Absolutely, they're going to reward the dominant players. I hate when people that are dominant at this game say, "Oh, we're crappy kill streaks." Come on, dude. A load star is not a crappy kill streak. That's a pretty damn good kill streak. I mean, it sucks that you have to get, you know, 14 kills or whatever to get it. Boo fucking who, man. I'm also tired of people saying, Oh, it was a terrible game. I, yeah, I went 30 and 6. Terrible game, my ass. What you are watching on the screen is a terrible game. I was like 9 and 18. That's bad. But, like I said, first time I played in over a year. After this, I did have several good games. I was not recording them. I don't really care. As long as I have something to put in the background over my sorry ass talking. So, okay. So, what we're going to have. Decent streaks. Bad lag. Gun balance? No, there's no such thing as gun balance. I'm using an ACR. Remember that thing? Yeah. It was just as bad as the rest. We're going to have good map. I think we'll have good maps. I don't think... I think they have learned their lesson from Ghosts on the maps. And I, I hope that Activision steps in and says, Hey, look, you know, we made a mistake with the big maps. People want action. So I think the maps are going to be back to that three... Three lanes. God, I'm getting raped. Um... I think they're going to be back to three lanes, and that's going to be great, because nobody wants wants that shit. Are there going to be campers? Yes, there's going to be campers. Are there going to be snipers that are overpowered as fuck? Uh, absolutely. I'm sure they'll put a target finder on a fucking sniper rifle. If it's 2025, we had some shit. Oh, 2054 is going to be loaded. So that's just what I think. I think we're going to see a lot of the same. I don't think the game's going to be outstanding. 
Am I gonna buy it? Absolutely I'm gonna buy it! It's Call of Duty. Why would I not buy it? Oh, the things we do for Call of Duty. But look guys, I really appreciate it. Nothing says love like commentary from yours truly. As I mow this dude down, we come to a close. Thanks for watching. See you on the flip side.